On this episode of Ranking the Small Business, and organic rankings have improved dramatically. So what do we fix next? What we can do now is take a look at your website as well. The thing that really stands out to me, and I've mentioned this before, is number one, you have no navigation. A person looking at this is thinking, okay, I guess I visited the website and there's nothing here. And even worse, if you click the learn more button, it doesn't even go down the page. It's supposed to go down the page. I tried to fix that, but I'm clicking it. Click, 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 click. It doesn't do anything. So it's supposed to scroll down to this section. Yeah, but not everybody knows to scroll. Well, that's the problem, right? Not everybody does know to scroll. And, and it's actually, it's a little hard to see the scroll bar on the right-hand side. So I want to fix that. And actually, I actually think you need what's called like a hero. Inst instead of this being so minimalist, which I think is a design aesthetic that worked, you want to hit them with beautiful pictures of brides with incredible looking makeup and hair. Beautiful bridal party, all done up, looking good, smiling, laughing, happy. That's the epitome of our experience. We've got to get into the redesign as soon as possible. So we'll find a good theme. And then I think we implement that and just try to build the website in rapid speed. Let's just refresh this website. Now, I will tell you that as an SEO, I'm a little nervous about your website. And let me show you exactly why Ooh. on the rank tracker. If I go to Google organic rankings, your organic rankings are so strong. It's like out of control. When you have a yeah. website that is performing so well, it makes me nervous to change anything, like launching a whole new website. So there are some problems with it though, right? So if I do a page speed test, actually these performance numbers are pretty good. You got 91 these, and uh, you know, not great on mobile, but if I run this again in an hour, I might see totally different numbers. And that's one thing that everyone should know about the PageSpeed Insights tool is that this is a snapshot in time at that exact time, but your website performs at different speeds depending on your web host load and those kinds of things. Because I can tell you, I have been on your website and, and it has just been chugging, like nothing. It's not loading at all. I'm sure you've seen that too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the mobile's the worst. The mobile's real bad. And I know that people are, and they're yet they're still inquiring. So like, what, how much better is it gonna be if they can actually navigate it easily? Totally. So we're gonna get you with really good web hosting and a really, uh, you know, zippy site, a site that everything is optimized for really quick loading speeds. And we're not really doing that for SEO. It might be an SEO signal to some very small degree, but you do it because you don't want to lose that person. They, you rank number one, they click the number one. Right. They should not have to wait, you know, more than a split second for your whole website to load. It should be presented immediately. So what I'm going to do now is just to give your website a really quick mini audit here. I'm just going to identify things. So your your actual uh, homepage title tag is pretty good. Charlottesville wedding hair and makeup artist, bridal makeup and hair. I think we've got all the keywords that we want in there for the home page is perfect. Uh, obviously we want a uh, nice graphics up here. Your logo needs to not really be yeah. like that. It needs to be worked in in a nice way. I just threw that on right. the verification, but we're gonna rework this whole hero section. This section is good. I think we can build out a little bit more content here, but it doesn't have to be too much. These little breakdowns yeah. are good, but like these not being links to those pages, what? How, how can I, I should be able to click that to learn more about wedding makeup. Yeah. Click this to learn yeah. more about wedding For Sure. Hair. I can click browse all services, but here's another common mistakes that businesses do. You've combined makeup and hair onto one page. These should be separate pages with a drop down, and you can go into those pages and we should even break it down further. So we want to really break this down so that each one of your services is very well represented as separate pages of your site. So uh, that would be a big thing. And then right off the home page, they need to be linked to those specific pages. I like this quote, but I would want a photo of you. I want you, maybe even you and your family. Like that's kind of a nice picture there. Um, you know, who, who are we and what do we stand for? That's what people want right. to hire people. And so, you know, knowing who is this company and what do they stand for? You, you do talk about that here and that's good, but, who, but I want to see, I want to see your picture. It really helps to connect the words to the person. Functionality is definitely lacking. And then the awards. Oh my gosh, you can't even, is that really what you see? That looks yeah, terrible. Yeah, we got some broken images here. So we got some problems to fix here. So that's not gonna help you convert. 
This navigation too is ridiculous. You got this navigation at the top here. It's very tiny, first of all. But then the other thing is, it is if I'm at the top of the page, there's no navigation. I have to scroll down for it to appear. Think about your site structure. So right now you just have these pages with no sub pages. Everything else is built off of the blog. Um, fun facts is good. This probably needs to be updated. The before and afters is great. I definitely want, I actually would put that maybe a little higher because it really, well, there were more. Well, I can see before browse all of them, which goes to your page, which has a lot. Okay. Cause I updated this because don't these look better than the other ones? The other ones are older. Yep. So you get your before and afters. You got a little social section. Uh, this, this should actually pull in your real reviews, I think would be helpful. Yeah, and is there any way to link it to Wedding Wire? Because we have such amazing reviews on Wedding Wire. Yeah, actually, uh, Whitespark has wonderful software for you. It's called our uh, Reputation Builder. It pulls in all your reviews and it has this thing called the Review Widget that we put on here and it, can, it, it rotates and pulls all your reviews. It looks beautiful. One of the final things I wanna say about your website is that the words that you have on here are already performing quite well we're gonna really focus more on the conversion factor. We want more people to click to, to, to get through here. And I actually wanna to try to maintain your site structure almost the same too. It's very simple, which right. works. It's easy for Google to crawl through it. The big one I wanna change is making different pages for wedding makeup and different and wedding hair. Right now you just have the one services page. So I'm gonna make that structural change, but they're pretty minor. Other than that, we can keep it all relatively the same. But why, why do we wanna do that? Why, why do we wanna do that when basically 90% of the people book both. So like, what's the point really? Well, my SEO brain will tell you that the value is right now, this page is optimized for Charlottesville wedding hair and makeup services. And so is your homepage. Yeah. They're both kind of optimized for the same thing. And so if right? we have the homepage focused on either the broad term, but then you can have a dedicated page just for the hair and only showing the hair and only showing the makeup. And then you can have a dedicated page just to show the makeup. You kind of get to optimize for those two terms much better because you have a dedicated page for them. But you're already performing really well. And so I should right. turn off my SEO brain and think more in your business. And your business is you want to sell both. So I think you've raised an excellent right. question the kind of question that a business owner should push back on their SEO about and be right. like, well, actually, I don't really want to 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 segment those groups because there never really are segments. Yeah, and I mean, the truth is there, and I don't know that I both. actually want to sell just one because, you know, when we have just one, then that means, so right now I have it in teams. So um, I have basically an equal number. I always try when I recruit to have equal number of artists for hair and equal number of makeup. Right. Because that way when they book one, then they can book the other and I can have two people having a job and not just right. one versus one person books for just the one. And then we're, you know, the one person who would have done the hair for the wedding, if it were both, doesn't do a wedding that day. Right. Well. You have convinced me that if it's not broke, don't fix it. Cause you are ranking really well. We give you site structure the same. And <laughs> we we focus more on the conversion side. And and, and just the pretty fine yeah. side, just making it more pretty and artistic. We are artists, so it does have to be beautiful. And girls who are getting married want to see beautiful stuff. All right, good. Well, we, we kind of have some great direction. I got some homework for you. I'm going to ask you to look at websites and give me like, Find me some sites that you like to look up. Find me some templates that you like to look up. I'll do, okay. I'll send you an email with some direction. And then using that, we'll, we'll get the wheels in motion for rebuilding you a brand new website. And we'll try to do it as fast as possible. So thanks everybody. And don't forget to subscribe and catch every episode of Adventures of Anne and Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys.